Have you ever thought about what is it exactly that makes us feel this feeling of happiness? Does it happen just at random times throughout the day? Does it happen only when things are going our way? Well, sort of, but not exactly. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you about four chemicals in the brain that are responsible for this feeling of happiness and four ways that you can get your daily dose of each of them to live a fuller, more rewarding, and happy-filled life. Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Marie. I'm a Christian comedian missionary doctor sharing a message of hope, health, and wellness for the mind, body, and soul. If you don't wanna miss any future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to stay till the end of the video for a word of encouragement. So I wanted to start off this teaching today by sharing with you all a short acronym that you can use to remember the four chemicals in the brain that are responsible for happiness, and that is DOSE which stands for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. So going over the first chemical in our brain that is responsible for happiness, and that is dopamine. Dopamine is a hormone neurotransmitter that our body makes and our nervous system uses to send messages between nerve cells. It affects major parts of human behavior and physical functions, such as learning, motivation, heart rate, and blood pressure. If you don't have enough of dopamine, it can lead to certain mental health disorders, including ADHD and even schizophrenia. But as far as the feeling of happiness is concerned, Dopamine is known as the reward chemical. So there are four simple ways that I'm gonna be telling you to get more dopamine, and the first one is completing a task. I love that feeling I get at night after a long day of seeing patients in my office, then I finish up a few emails, I get to check it off of my list, and I feel great. The next way you can get more dopamine is by doing some self-care activities. If you've watched my recent skincare video, you might know that some of my favorite self-care activities include skincare, but for you, you can do anything like taking a bath, relaxing on the couch, whatever you need to do to help take care of yourself. The next way to get more dopamine is probably one of my favorite ways, and that is by eating food. If you know me, one of my favorite snacks is cherry tomatoes, but I also like a good string cheese. And the last way to get more dopamine is by celebrating small wins. You know, if there's been a goal you've been working on and you finally completed it, that is a small win and it's worth celebrating, which can lead to more dopamine release in your brain and thus more happiness. The next chemical responsible for our feeling of happiness is oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone that is produced within the hypothalamus of our brain and released by the posterior pituitary. It plays a big role in social bonding, sexual reproduction, childbirth, and the period shortly after childbirth, as it helps in the function of milk production and breastfeeding after a woman gives birth. But as far as happiness goes, oxytocin is known as the love hormone. So the ways you can get more oxytocin are by number one, playing with a cat or dog. You guys know I love all animals, including every type of cat and dog, but I do have a cat named Carly, who I get my daily dose of oxytocin from. Another way to get oxytocin is by cuddling or holding hands with your significant other. Currently, I don't have a significant other, so I will just have to settle for cuddling with a pillow for the time being. Don't worry, for anyone else out there who doesn't have a significant other, the third way you can get oxytocin is by hugging a family member. That's what moms are for, right? And the fourth way that you can increase your daily dose of oxytocin is by giving someone a compliment. And if there's no one close by, you can still send a compliment through text or social media, and that still gets the job done. So the third happiness chemical that we're gonna talk about today is serotonin. And serotonin, like dopamine, is also a neurotransmitter that plays a big role in many psychological and body functions. 90% of our serotonin supply is actually found in our digestive tract as well as our blood platelets. It plays a major role in our mood, sexual desire, appetite, and sleep. Having an imbalance of serotonin can actually lead to depression, anxiety, or even panic attacks, which is why serotonin is also known as the mood stabilizer. So the first way you can get more serotonin in your brain is by meditating. 
It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Actually, meditating can just be sitting in silence or even listening to peaceful music. Another way to get more serotonin is by going running. Now, I am not a runner, but what's a little jogging session if it's gonna boost your mood? The third way to get more serotonin in your brain is by walking in nature. There's just something about nature that makes you feel more peaceful and happy after every experience. And the fourth way to get more serotonin in your brain is by getting some sun exposure. I just love being out in the sun, which is probably why I hate winter so much. But if you're out there for longer periods of time, don't forget your sunscreen. And that brings us to the fourth chemical that is responsible for this feeling of happiness, and that is endorphins. Endorphins react with the receptors within our brains that are responsible for the perception of pain. They also trigger a positive feeling within our bodies that is similar to the effects of morphine, which is why endorphins are also known as the painkiller. So the first way to get more endorphins is through laughter. Have you ever heard that saying, laughter is the best medicine? Well, now you know there's some truth to it and it can actually lead to reduction of pain. Another way to get more endorphins in the brain is by eating dark chocolate. No wonder it's such a guilty pleasure. I don't know about you, but dark chocolate is one of my favorite things to eat. Just don't eat too much dark chocolate because the third way to get more endorphins in the brain is by something you may have heard of before many times, and that is with exercise. Exercise of any kind is known to increase endorphins, decrease stress, decrease the feelings of depression and anxiety, boost self-esteem, and improve your sleep. Don't worry, if there's no gym to go to, you can always exercise in your backyard or your living room as long as you keep your body moving, that counts as exercise. And the fourth way to get more endorphins in your brain and thus the feeling of more happiness is by watching a comedy. Why? Probably because it leads to more laughter. <laughs> and I just wanted to leave you with a word of encouragement today and that comes from the scripture Colossians 3.23 which states, Whatever you do, do it heartily unto the Lord and not unto man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. So there you have it. That was my presentation today on the four chemicals in the brain that are responsible for a feeling of happiness and four ways that you can get each of those chemicals in your brain in a higher dose. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to share it with anyone else that you may know who is in need of an extra boost or dose of happiness in their lives. I make new videos every Monday and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Until next time, bye!